Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Yeah. I am excited because today is new boat day. The passing on of the silver bullet. OSG, putting in a booster seat. I'm a doing big bomb things. Doing big bomb things. This is, a, this is interesting. Never done that before. No, never new, done this. this new is, mode of momdom. Enough about that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go up to Fun and Sun Boats today. I have just a ton of leftover tackle right now, guys. Uh, I've been upgrading tackle boxes, please kind of. Yeah, OSG says, please, please take, please take it. I'm going to take it up to Fun and Sun. They have like a big bin where um, they let the high school fishing teams basically just go through all this stuff and, uh, and pick it out. So I'm going to take a bunch of this stuff up there. OSG is excited about that. Let's take a look at the silver bullet right now. So whoever comes in contact with the next bullet will get some of some of the hard baits, some of the old hard baits. We've got some clutches, some bangers. Uh, I think I see a swim bait or two in there. Uh, looks like we got a bunch of saucies. Some of, some of the old rando plastics. Looks like we got trench hogs. Uh, rattling chunks, cracking craws. Um, got some some of the uh, Bass Mafia uh, bags here, the money bags, and this is the brand new stuff right here, the new new, the new new stuff. Um, yeah, stuff that's not even launched yet is even in there. It's a little protos, and I've got a go-to and a reaction rod, Gold Series ready to go in here. So covering. Uh, a lot of different moving baits and just your go-to you literally do everything with i even cleared out all my coors light cans i haven't added any any new ones i should probably add a fresh one or two in there but i think i'm out i'm also leaving the doppler 9000 attached to this boat so if you'd like to do the crappie dangle it's there i'm letting you guys know this because i know some of you watching this video might be interested in the boat now unfortunately guys it is starting to rain just yucky, gross rain the next couple days. That's the last thing you want when you're getting a new boat. You wanna hit the water right away, get it broken in. I actually have a tournament coming up this week, uh, and this this boat is literally gonna be, the first thing it's gonna do is, is fish a tournament. I don't know if that's, that's good or bad. In fact, actually, the first thing it's gonna do is get rained on. So maybe that's a good luck crescenting, if you will. But I'm gonna put the cover back on the silver bullet because uh, it is starting to rain. Keep her fresh, take her up to Fun and Sun, and we're gonna see the brand new bullet. And here it comes. Why? I suppose you gotta get wet sometime. It stopped raining for just a second. We are here at the infamous, the well known provider of the boats fun and ton of boat sales this is where i got my first bass boat ever and there are some sexual biscuits out here i mean look at that silver phoenix right there that is that could be silver bullet sister right there my gosh bunch of skeeters i got just tons of skeeters i do believe they're the number one skeeter skeeter place in the country but we are here to turn her in let the phoenix rise out of the ashes. The wet, sticky ashes that are happening today. And I have just a shit ton of tackle. Ugh. Probably, not kidding you, 20 pounds of plastics that I've had in the garage. There's a bunch of um, hard baits in here as well. I mean, oof. Wow, that's some good stuff right there. Oh my gosh, I forgot I even had these in here. Look at that crazy top water. All right, it's starting to rain. Plus well, this big old tub back here, full of tackle. So I'm gonna drop that off here for the high schoolers. We're gonna go in here and see the new boat, guys. See what the new upgrades are. What's going on with it? What's new in the bass boat world?
Nikes fishing freaks. The new Phoenix coming out of the ashes is white hot. Oh my gosh, what a sexual piece of marine technology that is. Wow. We are still silver, baby. We're still silver, but we got that white hot pop on it. Oh my goodness. All right, this is Chewy right here on the forklift, hot in action. He's going to take my boat over to the shop where I just found out that my new Pro Guide batteries have arrived. And we're gonna do a special battery setup on this one. And uh, they're gonna go ahead and install them right here. It's gonna be ready to dangle, ladies and gentlemen. Woo -wee! Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This boat looks, this looks clean. This is different. I've had a little bit of a variation in each silver bullet that I've had. This one has new fenders that are just straight chrome. And then it has white, a lot of white touches on the interior and the exterior that is. Oh, here it is right here. Hey now. Wow. Oh, I got two AGMs and the 36. We're good to go. So right now the new silver bullet has five AGM batteries in it. Those things are heavy. So add all that up, it's a lot of weight in the back. But I am going to drastically reduce my weight. Uh, I still need some AGM batteries to run the Mercury's. So I've already been told by this dealership, by ProGuide, Mercury's and especially Yamaha's, they do love to run on AGM's. If you try to put uh, most lithium batteries on uh, to make it your starting battery connect to your motor the motor's going to have issues reading it and it's going to cause problems so you want to have an AGM a good AGM on your motor but they're so heavy so I've got a one lithium that is going into the back and that is a 36 volt lithium that's right so normally you have three uh, three batteries for a 36 volt trolling motor um, and that are all 12 volts. We're just gonna take those out, replace it with one, make it really easy and have full power essentially until it goes dead, which is, is really nice about lithium. So big shout out to ProGuide for sending those to me. Um, I'll show you guys how we're gonna install those in just a second. Alrighty, Nathan here is digging in. This is gonna be simple, they say. You know, simple and electric, I don't know. If Have those ever gone together? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm trying to rewire my, my camper right now and I'm learning. There's nothing simple about electrical stuff. But we're gonna take a lot of weight out here and uh, just make things a lot cleaner, simpler. How much do those things weigh, do you think? They're a I good, mean, 55, 60 pounds a piece, oh they're, they're stout. This is Pro right here. Getting the pad out. This is what you gotta do when, when you get my age. You gotta have knee pad priority. Something else we got in here is the C-Clear harness, which just until five seconds ago, I didn't know what it was. And uh, Nathan's explaining to me that it's a special harness. It's an aftermarket harness that equally distributes the voltage to the graphs. So sometimes there's power that pulls pulls away from, this is some, this is some technical stuff right here. I mean, we're getting into the weeds, but uh, you may turn on your graph and notice it's low voltage, having problems, and it's like a pipe. These cables are like pipes, distributing water. So I'd probably blow myself up if I was doing this, but. <laughs> why I'm leaving it to the experts. All right, we just finished up the battery install over here. Let me show you guys how much room that this cleared up right here. Look at that. We got the 36 volt right there and the two AGMs over here. We've got a, uh, a special charger installed as well to uh, put more amps into that, make it quicker. 
And we got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Fane over here. Oh, look, he's just, com he's just coming in. There he is. The man that designed the, the, the layout of this beautiful colored vessel. I have to say, it, it's white hot and I like it. <laughs> the 921 Elite. This is the 921 Elite, so it's a 21 and a half foot boat. It is one of their flagship boats. There is one model that's uh, a, a class above this, and it's called the 21 PHX. The difference in the two, though, is gunnel height. A lot of the bass guys like the little bit shallower gunnel for flipping and pitching. Uh, doesn't have as uh, deep a gunnel on it. The ride is almost going to be identical between the two, but the Elite Series is definitely a little quicker on top end speed. Uh, the PHX allegedly has a little better rough water ride, but I think both of them are fantastic. Uh, 921 Elite 2. The Elite 2, the only hmm. difference is is in the center compartment, we have two storage boxes instead of one. In addition to the rod box on that side is complete. It doesn't have the day box that you oh. have in the Elite Series. I'm a big fan of the day box. I like the day box, so this is why I like this layout better. I also like the one big center storage box in lieu of the two, but you do have the option to have either or layout, so. And this year we've got, we're switching up uh, the graphs a little bit. So we've got the new, the new Garmin's on here. Um, got one big graph. I'm, I'm a fan of the big graph up front. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a new transducer on the scope. Yes, you okay. have the new LS34 transducer, which is the new latest, greatest live scope Garmin transducer. It is definitely uh, a much better setup than the 32 that they had previous. Some of the problems with the other one was the clutter and you would get what they called a yep. ghost tree. Yep. In this transducer, we're not seeing any of the ghost tree. In addition to, we're able to see when you put it in forward position, you can cast your bait out there and you can see that bait out there a lot further with a lot more clarity than what we were able to see in the past with the 32 series. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about yeah. there. So not yeah. only do you have the upgraded harness in the boat for all the electronics, but you have in addition to that, C-Clear. Now C-Clear is just gonna give you the cleanest power to your electronics. It's gonna optimize your battery power, the low voltage issues that we're getting when yeah. we're running all these massive yeah. electronics yeah. these days. Uh, all of that goes away when you put the C-Clear harness in the boat because you're getting the cleanest power with eight gauge wire. So it's okay. working fantastic. Well, will that affect clarity at all? It does in... affect clarity. It, it increases the clarity, actually. It gives you the best depiction with the graph. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're getting those low voltage issues and you're not getting all the voltage to the electronic that it needs, your clarity can be hindered because of that. So with this cleaner power, you're not only getting um, cleaner power to the electronic itself, but you are getting much better depiction. Sounds like we're, uh, we're pretty set up. Pretty set up on this one. Plus, um, this is different too, on the Raptors, new color scheme. Uh, also got the stainless. Uh, we're, we're blinging out a little bit. It's clean, it's, it's blinging, but it's clean. And I really like it. I really like it, it looks good. So yeah, if you need a boat, come see this guy. I'm and my boat, my the other silver bullet is here right now while you're watching this video. That boat will be available, guys. If y'all want it, come get it. Uh, anything else I need to know about this puppy? We'll see if it catches fish. I know. That's the biggest thing. Every time I get a new boat, I'm like, ah, uh, it's like getting the skunk out. All right, y'all. We are all set up. <laughs> all new battery. I mean, the whole nine with the new boat. Just got to say goodbye to my sweet silver angel right here. Been a good one. Been a real good one. And it's in with the new. Thank you, Fun and Son. This silver bird is ready to fly. folks here's the deal it has come a gully washer it is cold i have a slight river running through my yard but we've got a little break in the rain and i've got a fresh new silver bullet sitting in the driveway and if you think i'm not gonna bust this cover off put my nose in that fresh carpet fiberglass smell and then crack open a taste of the rockies aka silver bullet and put some new sticks and brand new Guggen Squad tackle in here. 
And you hadn't been on this channel very long, folks. I gotta get in there. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? I feel like this needs some sensual music. looking vessel officially christened with the first silver bullet but she is naked we got to put some tackle in there Ugh. shucks the boat always starts out neat and organized at the beginning of the year and then it just gets crazy after a couple of Guggen weeks everything's tossed around in here and usually I end up with like random plastics and money bags and everything like that. But to start out, things are pretty clean. Um, loving these new boxes, by the way. Uh, I think these are out on our site. If they're not, they're coming soon. But these are the full open lid on, uh, on these Bass Mafia tackle trays. And it's really clear on top. It's not opaque clear. We had some other ones that were opaque clear. You can kind of see. These you can see really well. And it's one solid latch and I like that you can label it as well this is a new bait actually this is the rival glide bait I'm not a big glide person but certain situations trying to draw fish up out of clear water uh, they do work pretty well this is the bonding time with a new silver bullet this is kind of like uh, pre-engagement right here when we get on the water then it's gonna be full you know Honeymoon style, having having fun. Hopefully, it's going to be a good honeymoon. A couple other things that we got launching here today, folks. Love grub. That's the wrong one. This is the happy trailer right here. Must have for your uh, vibrating jigs. Play around with it on uh, you know jig heads, maybe even Texas rig. I don't know. Get crazy. I love this bait right here, especially for uh, fishing jig jig trailers of all kinds, swim jigs, football jigs. Uh, regular casting style jigs, fishing it straight Texas rig, flipping it, uh, swimming it by itself. So many things you can do with that bait. And then these rods have finally launched, guys. The rods I've been fishing for crappie with for the past year, they're finally available today. So, CougarSquad.com, big launch today. Also, new hard baits. Um, I already mentioned the the glide bait, but we also have a spinner bait as well. Double Colorado blade bumper, baby. Early times of the year, muddy water, stained water, just slow churning that thing, puts out a lot of thump. First rods going in are actually the crappie rods. Don't hate, don't hate. The three pound crappie quest is, is on, folks. All right, girl, lots of adventures to come, you and I. And I hope you guys are going to stay tuned for them this year. Subscribe to the channel. And big shout out to Fun and Sun Boats for hooking me up with this amazing vessel. If you guys want a newer used boat, check out Fun and Sun. And if you want to grab some of the new tackle at GuggenSquad.com, link is down in the description. You can use my promo code LFG. Save at checkout. Thank you guys for being here. I look forward to many videos in 2023 with you in the new boat. And I'll catch you on the water.